Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, I want to go to radar because this is our next storm system crashing into the West Coast right now, California, Oregon, Washington, and this storm will spread snow into a number of places over the next 24 to 48 hours. California, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado. And then there's another storm behind this as well. So here's what I'm seeing this morning. Two storm systems between now and 4-2. And then after that, the pattern's going to shift to the north and come out of Canada, BC, Pacific Northwest, and favor the northern tier. So you can see the timeline here for what's ahead. Sierra, Tetons, Wasatch, Colorado, and the northeast, for example. In the Wasatch, you've got heavy snow coming on 328, light on 29, and then heavy again on 330 and 331. And I'm thinking feet of snow in some parts of the Wasatch with this. So let me take you back, and I want to show you water vapor satellite imagery here. Just give you the lay of the land. So again, on this, the whites, the blues, the greens are your moisture aloft. And there it is. You can see it's a powerful storm moving in right now. And then there's another storm behind it. So both of these will play into the forecast being guided in with the jet stream. And let me just uh, show you what that jet stream is going to look like here. So here it is at uh, close of day today. You can see potentially that next storm system there um, is starting to cycle in into the Pacific Northwest and, and BC, and there it goes across the northern tier. Then the second storm behind it digs into California, and then that moves in. Uh, to the, uh, the four corners and marches through Colorado and New Mexico. And then you can see what happens behind this. The pattern sort of drops in from the north with that jet. So it'll all come in from Canada, Pacific Northwest, and Northern Tier after 4-2. Putting some precip on top of all of this, there is your forecast radar at 5:30. Again, there's your storm system across the west coast. Then it starts to spread snow into the interior. We could see some heavy snow on 328 across the Wasatch, seeing snow in the Tetons, Idaho, and some of it starts to make it down into Colorado as well. And there it is, nice band of snow across the central to northern mountains of Colorado and just south of the, uh, the Wasatch clipping that area. That's 329. There we are on 329 late. There's 330. Snow comes back to the Wasatch, Tetons, there's the storm, the final one coming in, moving into the four corners with snow for Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, and also New Mexico. There it is on 4-1. By 4-2, it's moving away. Pattern starts to shift, and then everything starts to come out of the north, Canada, and you can see what it does. It sends a couple of waves of moisture down um, through the northern tier, and there's 4-5. All right, let's talk about the latest numbers. So my latest grand total map. By late 4 or 5 looks like this, anywhere from 1 to 3 feet in the Wasatch, 1 to 2 feet for the Tetons, and roughly 8 to 16 in the central and northern mountains of Colorado, Crested Butte, Aspen Snowmass, Vail, Summit County, up to Steamboat, a little bit less in the southern mountains, about 7 to 14. Um, and about 5 to 10 down in northern New Mexico. Looking at the Sierra, anywhere from about uh, 2 to 2 and a half feet for Tahoe down to Mammoth, and about a foot up at Shasta. Okay, let me break it down by time period. So today through tomorrow, and there are your numbers, anywhere from 8 to 12 in the Sierra, 4 to 10 in the Wasatch, and 5 to 8 for the Tetons. And most of what you see here falls tomorrow on 328 in the Wasatch, and tomorrow in the Tetons as the storm moves from the west coast in. Okay, next time period, 329 through 331. Um, about a foot or more, potentially two feet there, from Tahoe down to Mammoth. One to two feet for the Wasatch. That's going to be a big period. Four to eight up in the Tetons, and there are your numbers in Colorado. Start to see those tick up, um, up to potentially a foot in a couple of areas during that time frame alone. Okay, last time period, four one to four five. Pattern shifts a little bit. You can see the leftover snow in Colorado, uh, about four to eight inches of additional snow and maybe more in southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. And then that storm's out of there by 4-2, and you can see the snow then starts to, starts to affect parts of B.C. in the northern tier. Okay, let's go to the northeast. So there's a little bit of snow on 327, and then potentially 4-2 and 4-3. It looks like it could be rain or snow, and a lot of the amounts are going to depend on that. So you might say 1 to 4 inches and then potentially higher amounts if we get more snow than rain on 4-2 and 4-3. So it really depends on the temperatures. Okay, let's go back to the grand total map. We'll end here with this morning update. And again, there are some bullseyes. Tetons, Wasatch, Central and Northern Mountains of Colorado, and also the Sierra. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it, and take care.